All right, y'all, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. It's about one and a half pounds. I'm putting these in my lawn crock pot. We're making a delicious, easy dinner. All right, next, y'all, I have a packet of zesty Italian seasoning. We're putting this on top of our uh, chicken thighs. Thighs, I was about to say chicken breast, but they thighs. Chicken thighs, mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna use a little seasoning. Also, a little bit of thyme, okay? So uh, just, you know, measure with your heart, y'all, as I do. And then a little bit of basil. That's what I have here too. Okay, you can use Italian seasoning if you want as well, but I couldn't find any, so that's what we did. All right, y'all, next, I have some uh, sun-dried tomatoes, all right? So we're gonna put some of these on. I don't know how many I'm, I'm gonna see. Let's see. One, two, I guess I should have got these out of this juice already, but we're gonna put some. I don't know, I, I like sun-dried tomatoes. I feel like they kind of like like tomato raisins, right? Don't y'all think? <laughs> It's like basically the same thing, right? Isn't a raisin like a sun-dried grape? Right? I'm right, aren't I? I don't know. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I know. So whatever. Put some in there, however many you want. I think we need one more. All right, that's great. Perfect. All right, y'all. We also need a little bit of garlic. Y'all know a little bit to me. Okay, we'll just, we'll just do this. That's good. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Oh, um, what else do we need? Uh, a little salt and pepper. I forgot about that. And mostly because these are so fun. I love using these things. They're just so fun. I wish everything was this fun. Uh, salt and pepper. Okay, y'all. Now for the liquid. So right here, um, I have uh, one cup of heavy whipping cream, and I put one tablespoon of cornstarch in here, and I mixed it up, all right? So we're going to pour this right on top of our chicken thighs. All right, right on top. Okay, y'all. Now we also gonna add to this, we need a little more liquid. Y'all will see why later. I have some uh, chicken broth. So we're gonna add like one to two cups. I'm gonna eyeball this. Um, let's see, one cup. I think, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, y'all, that's what we're doing. Let me see if I have to add anything else. I don't think so. I think I got it all for now. All right, y'all, so now we're just gonna just do that. Just like push these down a little because, just because, that's why. Um, okay, y'all, so I'm going to cover this up. We're going to cook this on high for about four hours, and then we have one more step. Y'all are going to love this easy dinner. Ooh. All right, y'all, so this has been cooking on high for about three hours. Y'all can see it's still bubbling. I literally just unplugged it. So um, at this point, I'm going to uh, shred up these. Yep, they're done. Perfect. I love These just, like, fall right apart. I love cooking with chicken thighs. So we're going to shred up these chicken thighs. All right. And, yep, they're done. Perfect, Bridgie. This is perfect. Look at this. Perfect. Fork tender. Fork tender. All right. So now we also, y'all, we have this beautiful cream sauce we made. All right. So now, man, that was so easy. Gosh, that was great. Now what we're going to do is, um, what am I adding? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, I have the stuff I need. We're going to add um, some Parmesan cheese. So let's see. How much is it? About a cup or so. I'm going to use that. And I'm also going to use, I have a little bit of the powder kind left. So we're using that. I'm also going to add one bag of baby spinach. It's six ounces. Um, we're just going to put that right on in here, all right? Okay, I'm going to give this a little mixy mixy. All right, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think if I'm going to plug this back in to let it cook for a few more minutes. Yep, that's what I'm going to do, y'all. The spinach will wilt real fast, but I'm going to cover this up and put it on low for like five more minutes, and then I'm going to show y'all how I like to serve it. Today on Kristen's Friends, we rate in every recipe on a scale of 1 to 10 and Kevin. <laughs> I don't know why y'all just want to do that, but I'm trying to get Kevin to be in every video today. Uh, so far, I think there's been one video without a cat, but he wants a treat. So bye. All right, here's, now you get a treat. Look, I'm training him. You, you in a movie, you get some treats. There you go. Have two. There we go. Okay. All right, y'all. So this was uh, the... Crock pot Tuscan chicken. Um, we just put some Parmesan cheese and spinach and we let it wilt, all right? This smells so good, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how I like to serve this. Um, y'all can y'all can serve it like over rice or um, I guess as a soup if you want, but honestly, y'all, I feel like it's a good pasta dish, so that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna ladle it right on top of my, my spaghetti. Oh my goodness, y'all, because there's a lot of creamy sauce in here, so. That looks amazing. Look at that, y'all. That looks so good. The spinach, the sun-dried tomatoes. All right, let, uh, how much more should I put on my plate? Because I'm totally going to eat all that, y'all. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, this is very hot. And uh, we got to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10. So I'm trying to see, like, I'm going to take a bite of all this. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Internal dialogue. The internal workings of Kristen. That's what's happening right now. 
I'm gonna take a real little bite because it's gonna be so hot, but uh, I'll, I'll get the flavors so I'll be able to know. All right, y'all. I've made this before, but we're gonna rate this on a scale of one to 10. Mmm, 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 y'all. Oh. All right, y'all, this is real good. Um, this is real good. I'm gonna give this not a 10, but I'm like an eight or a nine. Uh, Eight point five. Y'all should try it. <laughs>